ないこの俺が人間なんだよ Alright, so in this one, we're gonna go over the video and stuff that just happened. Uh, wow, we are getting something, uh, well, different, right? Definitely a different LF than we all figured we were getting, but just touch on everything uh, very quickly here. So, the rush is being updated. Basically, these challenges that you do have for it, people usually do it. So, okay, they'll bring their main party, and then afterwards, they bring their, you know, units to require the challenges and beat the challenges for USCR. Now it's called trials. Basically, you can bring them at any point, and they get those challenges done. Just it's easier. Basically, they made USTR easier, even though it's quite literally just auto. But <laughs> yes, they made it easier. Co-op has now added a rematch feature, and then replays. Um, so it's gonna have this. It'll have the godly players have their replays. I assume just in a cache somewhere, and then it'll have your own replays. It'll have. You know, uh, your replay collection, your favorites, they can share to other players, which is very nice, right? Replays, obviously, if you don't upload or something, you get to see how you did, your issues that you had, maybe if you're a lower rank and you're just starting the game, hey, look, I can watch this god rank and see how he plays and kind of adapt that to my own play style and even see how their negatives are and then, you know, adapt not that, but the positives from it to your own play style, right? It can allow you to uh, get better at the game, which is very nice. Uh, very nice ad replays, like, amazing, I, I love that. Faster load times, yeah, that's nice, uh, obviously. And then the new mode, it's not coming out right now, but they gave a lot more information and, you know, it's it seems pretty complex <laughs> with the information, but uh, how they summarized it is you will have 10 characters and you have support characters. So think of it like you're super powering one character that's gonna come in, right? So I'll just look at it here, new mode, full power battle. Take on a boss with four battle members in this new mode. Pick characters whose tags fulfill the deploy conditions and head into battle. Then support members. You can sign up to 10 support members per battle member. You can also borrow characters from friends and guild members. So be sure to join a guild and make tons of friends. You can set a total of 11 supports including comrades <laughs> to friends or guild members. You see what I mean? Like, we don't know what the fuck any of this means, by the way. And then phases. When the boss loses a certain amount of health, a special scene will play out. These include uh, phases where you will f wait for your chance to strike, or where you must focus on dodging and avoiding the boss attacks, or where you can go all out with one powerful attack. Looking forward to see how players fight out. Think of it like co-op, but like 10 times more of like difficulty, I'm assuming, and on top of just more, uh, I don't know, cohesiveness, I guess you could call it. Then we do have a 60 million user campaign here. So uh, just so you guys know, the user campaign ones, like these LFs that are coming during these campaigns, are usually very good. Evolution Blue came during a campaign, I believe... Uh, I believe Kid Boo also came during a campaign, and those are two LFs that are very graceful in their aging, just for a long, long time. So, having a campaign here, and the LF we are getting, which again, we will show in a second here, uh, is very nice. By the way, Beers is coming with this LF. They're not separate. They, they are coming together. Then we do have new free-to-play characters. Uh, what is this? Resurrection F, Goku, and Vegeta, it seems. Yeah, because that Goku is definitely from Resurrection F, and that's Vegeta doing that attack against Frieza. Then, you know, you know how it goes from there. But they could possibly be very good. These are Godkey buffs. Godkey is in the mud, so Godkey is getting three buffs right now. Yes, three buffs right now. It is not four. It's three. So this will be... Uh, exemplary help for god you know boost units they're obviously going to do better look at how coco who's very much a tank you look at uh podza who's really good right now if they're on the level of podza this will make god key like kind of come back not fully but start to come back in their uh value then uh lf super saiyan blue vegeta zenkai awakening we're not sure if it's coming tonight but it is coming uh basically they made it more strike oriented from what we know so far with this information strike arts card draw effect added to special arts so uh, he gets draw effect. So I guess he gets damage inflicted more on his special arts. Uh, inflicted strike damage up effect adds main ability. So yes, his main now gives more strike. Again, he, they made him more strike oriented, which is fine. It's better than giving him nothing. But, I, you know, now he's just only, only he's fully one dimensional, right? And then even greater offensive capabilities uh, increase inflicted strike damage at start of battle, which he did need. He did need some start of battle stuff. Uh, which are unlocked after you get his uniques there. So, very nice for him, at least preliminary. And then the LF! 
Legends Limited Full Power Jiren. Yeah, no one thought this guy was fucking coming in. I agree with that. So he is purple, Universe 11, Rally Universe, and powerful opponent. Uh, powerful enemy. What? Are they going to change the name? Okay. Uh, powerful opponent, because <laughs> that's the tag in game. Uh, Z ability wise, he is, what is this? USS, Rally Universe, or uh, powerful opponent plus tag defense, and then Rally Universe also gets blast defense there. One part of his unique is he gets 90% damage flicker, can't be canceled. Think of Bardock gets 90%, uh, Rose starts with 90%, so some units already have that. And reduce damage to C by 40%. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, a lot of units actually have 25 to 35% on their initial cut, so there you go. He has a little bit more already. Then his uniques, just to touch on some more that they did add here. Apply some effects to self when an enemy activates Rising Rush. So I think this is when they rush him. That's what they said. But if it's not when they rush him, this is 10 times better, right? You have these fodder units you could sack off. I assume how they're going to word it in game is they rush him, but then someone else comes in and eats it, so you're fine. They just have to pop the rush on a him. Like you could cover out, you could do all these things, just hopefully you don't get caught, you know, mid side step or something like that. He gets 4 cent damage flick, it cannot be canceled, activates twice, so. <laughs> Wait, is that anticipating a double rush? Is he going to make this meta so long? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Activates twice is scary. That means you're anticipating a double rush to happen when this guy's meta. All right. Uh, also, he's range type, which is definitely interesting for a Jiren, right? Who just runs through blast 24-7. Um, so he can get up to 170% damage inflicted with that activates twice. It's a double rush, basically. That's, I mean, 170 is high, right? Bardock peaks out at 160. There's some units that don't even get up to, like, 150 uh, the 170's high. Like, it's gonna be, uh, interesting. Plus, 70% security recovery cannot be canceled actually twice. Obviously, you're not gonna anticipate the, you know, double rising rush every single match, but I'm just going over the peak, right? His peak here recovery, 140%. You can't get your card draw speed there, which cannot be canceled one time. And restores health by 30%, uh, only once. Or oh, he has endurance. Oh, okay, so it's probably against just him, the rush, because he has endurance. They want to, like, be like, Okay, eat this rush, and now your Jiren's gonna be like, full power, get it, full power Jiren, because you just ate a rush, now you're thriving, now you're eating. I think they forgot, <laughs> there's a lot of anti-endurance going on, but alright, he'll still eat, you know, decently well. Uh, then applies buff effect, nullify enemy special actions, the activating change of cover, obviously nullify special cover change, is very nice for 30 timer counts, uh, that's a lot, right? It's not the most in the game. Blue Nappa has most in the game. It's just that it's uh, conditional to, you know, coming back in, swapping out, coming back in. Because he gets it when he comes back in. But for one time, stay in. This is the most you can have of a uh, Nullify Special Cover Change. Then, restores own up by 35% when two allies are dead. Yeah, he wants to be a last man standing, you can't tell. And has a special cover change against Strike Guards that combos into his blue card. Uh, Jiren, I think he will be very, very good. You know, it looks a little bit that he's really really wanting to get rushed but th that is a circumstance that can't fuck him over you know loe right now is at the peak of its like uh, conception and uh, they have anti-endurance like full power frieza is loe that lf is loe right now he is the hard carry for it this guy's purple it's like uh you're in a little bit of a struggle with that I'll, I'll be real but i assume some red zenkai is coming maybe bergamo maybe dispo zenkai like somebody's coming with the dispo make a lot of sense because he's also range type and they make a lot of sense for you and to get kind of just a little bit of help there to deal with uh, the pesky yellows because there's quite a bit of yellows there's a lot of anti-endurance a lot of yellows but i do think he's predicated more on the idea that okay let me eat this rush early game you know people throw out rushes in 20 30 timer counts and then, boom, I am fucking decked out. I'm going to beat some fucking ass after this now. No issues with it. Jiren's going to be interesting. Uh, Jiren's definitely going to be interesting. Just to see if there's more information here, because this guy is sharing all the information. Can I even actually show off the... Uh, I, I mean... Sure, let's just show it. Just watch that. Looks pretty cool. Blast armor, obviously. <laughs> hmm. What do you do here? Green card. Oh, okay. So, oh, oh, wait. Okay. So that looks like a long animation AOE green card. It looks, it looks long. I'm not a thousand percent sure. I can't tell from one glance, but that looks like a long animation. 
pretty cool. Oh, wow. You know, that's not even like <laughs> they can do like another LFG and so easily. That's not even like his best moments. That's not him. You know, when lastly fighting and then like his last stand coming back against Freeze and all that. Now that's just kind of a generic moment. So they could do another LFO. I'm really excited though of uh the uh, the not even the fucking Vegeta Zenkai. I'm really excited for these guys. I really am eager to see how they do these free to play units. Uh, let me know guys think of everything that's coming again. Beerus is coming on the banner, which you and they did say. We'll obviously see the banner probably. Well, tonight we'll see the banner because it'll come out tonight. But um, we'll see like the overview of it because they'll probably post it in the news somewhere and or in the data mines because we're getting data mines tonight, right? Let me know guys think of everything that is coming, and I'll see you guys in 